is outstanding. <laughs> Is that his battalion board? Yeah. Okay, cool. So he'll carry the he'll carry that. He looks a bit friendly. Hello. <laughs> Not friendly. <laughs> yeah, I was just lucky, you know, it was uh I started snowboarding and um met some really good guys in the UK that were really excited to go and, and film street and it was a real great group of guys and it was all new to them and we were just super hungry to go and get clips. So I think the first trip was Helsinki, classic. I started riding indoor Milton Keynes um, for years, like twice a week. And it's just rails, like it basically just rails. You're up in 30 seconds, you're down in 10 seconds, and you're just looping so quick that you, uh, you get so consistent on, on rails. And for me, it was, um, you know, I grew up watching skateboard movies, watching snowboard movies, and you know, I always wanted to kind of recreate that. Now, I respect the, the slope style riders, and, Guys that spend a lot of time in the mountains, and you know, I found for me that the pressure of sitting around all day and, and having two runs and, and landing it that, that didn't excite me. And and having been able to go away and, and find things that you think, okay, well, why don't we jump on that that roof and jump across to like a down rail, or or we could like wall up the side and pop off to a rail, or you're just looking at the world a little bit differently. And, and you know, it's not like a course that's been set out. It's it's just you and your friends and and let's try and make something creative and, and, and reflect my personality and what I like to see. And, and you know, it kind of, you can emphasize that a little bit more with street snowboarding or, or just snowboarding in general, but it, it felt like it was a bit more personal to me and what I enjoyed doing. So, no, we, we all, I think we all have the love and, and the drive um, and that will never change. I just think it's, we just, you know, I went one way and he went the other way and it, there's no, no massive difference. We're both loving being on our snowboards and and that's, you know, that's the most important thing. I just remember like coming home from school one day and my dad being like, we're moving to Austria in like year nine, at the start of year nine. So I missed all of year nine to move to Austria and went snowboarding. So that's like 12, 13. Because we were renting a place and I was getting contracts so, and getting paid. We had to get an Austrian bank account. <laughs> but none of us could speak German and Archie had been shoved into school. So he was the one that did all the talking to the bank manager and everything at seven years old. And he'd be like, Ah uh, yeah, schnitzel. <laughs> and doing it on the phone, like ordering food and, and going to the shops. Like, it was pretty nuts, he did so well, I'm well proud of him. I joined the team just before, I think, and that's why we moved to Marathon, because I went on a pre-season trip with him. And my dad, because I was so young still. I was pretty freaked out, because the level of all the European kids was nuts at that point as well, still. Yeah, you know, I thought I was good with like a 720. And I'd go there and all the Norwegians were bashing out back 10s already and they're two years younger than me. I was like, right, I really need to get on this. <laughs> I did laps of Hof. I think I did 70 laps in one day. Probably like 14, 15 is when the trips proper started for the competitions. Like, 
three different hotels, three different countries. Get on a scaffolding jump or a slope style jump. And yeah, just keep shredding. They're always pretty scary because they're like, you know, whatever, how high they are, 40 meters or something. And it's windy up there and you feel it swaying sometimes. I also grew up just watching all the stepchild and foreign films and video grass and be like, street snowboarding looks sick. And backcountry stuff looks rad. But I've just never had the opportunity to really go do it properly. Yeah, I get it. Well, I'd like, I'd enjoyed competing. I've always been competitive and like winning and stuff. So I did enjoy it and always pushing myself to learn something new. But I do sometimes wish like I'd maybe not done as many and done like a street trip here or there. Or we had like a program and like, you know, we have little charts and stuff of what tricks we, we've been doing or what tricks we can do and what you need to learn. Especially when all like new rules kept coming in for big air competitions instead of it just being your best one trick. It was your best two tricks that were different rotations. I was always good at swimming backside and cab, but they didn't allow that. So I had to go out and learn how to do frontside tens and triples and stuff. I think I did a slope style in Quebec and it was about like minus 30 at the top of the slope style course at nine o'clock in the morning. I was just there like, Okay, do a double cock now. Yeah. It's like, you're still, it's like it's don't, you don't have to land it on that run, yeah. Yeah. but you need to make sure you get the trick. So that's why like, you have sessions of, I did three days, I went back to try and do a switch blunt same way on this big uh, donkey dick yeah. in, in Iceland, just going back and back and back to try and get it. Like we all wanted to have a good video part. So yeah, I guess like, that's... you'd see one of your mates do something and you're like, yeah, no, you know, I, I need yeah, to step yeah, up now. And like, yeah, I was down to the same point, yeah. like competition riding and street riding is like, we're both like, we want to do the best yeah. run possible and the yeah. best trick. Yeah, but the pressure comes from the freshers, different angles. Different sure. angles, yeah. isn't it? Like Definitely. you know what I mean. The goal for most street snowboarders is, is to get the end of their their movie and get recognition from other riders. I think yeah. so. And then for you, it was it was more kind of stomping the Olympic run. Yeah, it was landing a run at Olympics, which is competitive snowboarding these days. That is the goal. Yeah, like landed a uh, two back triples in the big air. And then landing it and getting to the bottom and seeing all my mates there and then turning around and seeing my mum, dad and my little brother there as well. It's like, that is it. That's probably one of the best ones I've ever done as well. 100%. I went big enough and I was just stoked. It didn't matter that I didn't make finals, you know. I went there and did what I wanted to do and I was happy with that.